Didi, could you explain something a little bit about the science of tears? Yeah. What, what, uh, why do we cry? What's, what's happening in our bodies? Why do we cry? Mm -hmm. Actually, <clears throat> crying is an expression when you are very happy for any, about anything, then you feel like crying. And whenever you feel very sad for any reason, you feel like crying. So either it is in the material world or for God, the same thing happens. When uh, you feel very happy or very sad, then the heart melts and it comes out in the form of tears. So when you are doing Rup Dhyan and you feel that my Sham Sundar is coming towards me, he is embracing me, he is uh, smiling and I'm very happy to see, you know, then naturally you will feel like crying. In the same way, when you feel like, oh, uh, Sham Sundar alone is mine, how can I not see? Or I just, I was seeing, I, I saw he was coming towards me. Now he has been disappeared. So when you feel that, this kind of feeling of sadness, then, then you should cry. So the only difference is that when you cry for the material world, then you get the result of material world. In other words, then you are committing sin. Because the meaning of this verse of Gita is whatever you do, remembering God for the purpose of God, that is dharma. Rest of all the actions are called adharma, unrighteous deeds. And you will get the result of Maya. So when we cry for God, for Hari, for, the, for anything which is divine, then we attain a spiritual result and our heart also gets purified. But when we shed tears for the material cause, for any material cause, then our heart gets more contaminated. So we should reserve our tears only for Hari and Guru. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Erin. And then the next question, Didi, it is on the tears too. It, it says, amount of tears, we, uh, the amount of tears that we're able to shed, as well as the length and thickness proportional to the progress we have made in our sadhana, or is it dependent on our physiology at the time being? Could you speak about the different types and level of tears and symptoms in sadhana bhakti leading up to bhav bhakti? The levels of tears uh, cannot be described. All what can I say that um, uh, there are two kinds of uh, tears, like uh, sometimes uh, in separation and sometimes in meeting Shyam Sundar. So the tears of separation, they are hot, they are warm. And the tears of uh, uh, Milan meeting Shyam Sundar are cold. This is the difference. But there are many, many levels according to the level of separation. Likewise, there are many levels of the tears of Milan also according to the level of your feeling of meeting Shyam Sundar. But that le the, uh, level, you know, the levels which we have when we cry for Shyam Sundar, when we cry for um, Radharani, cannot be described. Okay. 